Hi all, welcome to my channel. I am Aparna. Today I am here with a topic in English that is sounds in English. As you all know, English is a global language. It is used for international communication and it is used as a mother tongue in countries like England, America, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, Australia and it is studied as a second language in almost all other parts of the world. But the pronunciation of English changes from place to place. Even in England we have regional varieties. But one type of pronunciation is accepted everywhere in the world as a best pronunciation. This is the pronunciation of educated native speakers in Southeast England. This pronunciation is called received pronunciation or in short RP. We could hear this uh, pronunciation in BBC and it is given in all the standard dictionaries. The pronunciation in, is given in a particular script called phonetic script and my intention here is to teach phonetic script in English. So let's continue. In English we have 26 letters but we have 44 phonemes or sounds. Not all these uh, 26 letters have a phoneme to match. Why? Because there are 44 sounds or phonemes. Every language has a large number of sounds forming the sound system of the language. These sounds can be grouped into a limited number of distinctive sound units and these sound units are called phonemes of the language. Phonemes are the sounds and each phoneme is represented by a symbol or a script. All these are the symbols of the script in English. And these phonemes are divided into consonants and vowels. Now let us see what consonants are. Sounds during the production of which air escapes through the mouth with audible friction. They are called consonants. For example, p as in pin, t as in tin, d as in da dog. When we pronounce these sounds, some friction is formed. So they are called consonant sounds. So let us look at uh, all the consonant sounds. P as in pen, capital, cap. B as in bin, robbery, rob, T as in tin, pottery, pot, D as in dog, child, Ch as in check, catch, J as in job, jail, then man as in, sorry, M as in man, calm, N as in nose, nib, N as in sing, jungle, Th as in thing, path, D as in them, that, then F as in fan, Knife, kerchief, v as in van, give, cave, sir as in sun, chess, z as in zoo, bus, resolve, sh as in sure, sheep, j as in measure, vision, then h as in help, hot, l as in light, oil, r as in room, broom, y as in yo yo, Europe, v as in wine, water, etc. As I said, Consonants are the sounds produced with audible friction, but there are a few sounds which is produced without any friction. They are called frictionless continuance and they are L, Y and V. They are produced without any friction, but still they are consonants and they are called frictionless continuance. Y and V, they show the qualities of a vowel, so they are called semi-vowels. So let us now look what vowels are. There are 20 vowels in English and sounds during the production of which air escapes through the mouth freely or without any friction are called vowel sounds. For example, E as in eat. Is there any friction? E. No friction. P as in pin. There is a friction. So that is the difference between a consonant and a vowel sound. Air escapes freely. They are called vowels. These vowels are divided into monophthongs and diphthongs. There are 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs. Monophthongs are called pure vowels because vowels do not change their quality when prolonged. They are monophthongs or pure vowels. For example, E as in eat, E as in English, Instagram, A as in pen, A as in apple, ash, cat, a as in chart, art, O as in ox, box, O as in flow, ought, U as in put, book, U as in ooze, shoes, then A as in up, cup, U uh as in early, sir, U uh as in about, father. So these are the monophthongs. 
vowels which do not change their quality when prolonged the amount of tongues but there are certain vowels which change their quality when prolonged they are called diphthongs and we have eight diphthongs for example a as in day i as in eyes oi as in boys toy ow as in owl now ev as in now open ear as in dear clear o as in tour a as in chair careful etc so these are the eight diphthongs hope you understood consonants and vowels uh, if you are if you like my video please comment below and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a good day